Hey guys, we just got off the water. I just wanted to talk about this for about two seconds and we'll get right to it. We were catching striped bass 30 to 50 feet below the boat. There was schooling, we were jigging them up. And uh, I realized when I got home, I looked at the footage. A friend of mine who had his wife out with us, she's actually a very experienced largemouth bass fisherman, caster, you know, but she doesn't have much experience with a fish finder. I didn't realize until I got home and looked at the footage that she asked me some pretty good questions. And uh, with the footage that was happening on, me answering those questions, I realized that this may help a lot of people who don't have a lot of experience with a fish finder. If you're using a fish finder every day, it's more the same, although the footage is pretty cool. But if you're new to it, I think this can explain a lot what's happening down there. You're going to see in the top few inches, there's some color, there's some, you know, some orange and blue up top. Just, just a haze. That's sediment that's been washing in. It's been raining like crazy here. I didn't want to filter any of that out. So just ignore that there. You'll see what's happening under the boat. We're going to get to it right now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. I love you guys. Mean it. We're going to get to it right now. Let's do it. They're curious. They are they're coming right up. Look at that. There's... I don't know. If you go off to the side too. Man. These two right here just came right up to look oh. at that jig. Someone's jigging up and down, and these two came right up to look at it. There's another one in the mix. That still be the same one, but basically, you see this section here that's all fluttery. That's directly under us right this second. This is just a history, but that's what's under the boat right now. And they're hanging there. They're hanging there, we're gonna hang here. So you'll see, like, if you look at it and feel what you're doing, you can figure out which jig is yours. Yours is going down, that what? Now stop. Okay, that's you right there. See how it just stopped? Okay. And now drop it. And you'll see it go down. So now when the fish comes up, you can figure out if he's looking at yours. Or... I believe this fish here was just looking at yours the whole time you were jigging it. See him? He's very interested in your bait. <laughs> That's right. Look at that. that. That fish is coming up fast right there. Three or three or four of them, two or three. Someone's gonna whack one right there. They're racing up to get it. Racing up to get it. Right back down. Right back down. All right, you see we're here, it's summertime, so these fish are deep, the water's warm, 82 degrees. These are the jigs working up and down. These are striped bass in the small three to five pound range, maybe some up to seven, eight pounds, 30 inches. And you can see our jig here, it's enough to entice these fish to come up and look, but they're not hitting it. And it's, a, yeah, it's midday. Sometimes these fish have just been eating all morning. You know, they're gorged out chasing these baits. And we just need to wait for them to get hungry or figure out what we can do to make it irresistible to them. But, an hour or two before dark when it come time to strap the feed bag on is usually enough. But the more fish in the mix, the better, not for obvious reasons, but you get more fish in there, the bigger group will tend to eat when they're not hungry if there's more, more fish around. It's the old competition factor, you know? But we have the spot lock or the uh, anchor lock, the motor guide anchor lock just holding us right here. and That's all we can do. Just got to work and figure out what they're going to not be able to pass up. I got the crew though. <laughs> look at all kinds of iron going down there. Look at these. Mm. Come right up. This fish is just, to you can see here and here, it was just completely infatuated with this jig going up and down. Trying to figure it out, but just doesn't want to take it. You can see it come up. It's looking at it, it's just sitting. That fish is just sitting right under that jig. I'm gonna get it. Drop it right on its head. Drop it right on its head. It's something. Give me a headache. There you go. <laughs> Look at that. Screenshot. Mm. John, I'm gonna take you to the bank. Why don't you go dig up some night crawlers?